I'm entering the boat now from the cockpit, which is the rear or the stern of the boat. And just coming inside the door here, we're right in the salon area. And we're kind of one of those fortunate people that we have um, options as far as how we can arrange furniture in here. And so that's really afforded us the ability to make a great space for me to do my sewing. Right now, I have my industrial sewing machine that I use for doing any of the marine sewing, heavy canvases, stuff like that. And I can actually take that machine right out of that table and then I'll put in my uh, FAF 2.0 Quilt Ambition. So what I'm gonna be working on right now is I need to cover the stools that we have for the bar area. And you can see they're, they're getting pretty pretty ratty looking. And if you saw my video on how to make the cathedral window pillows, I'm actually going to be using that fabric. That The blue fabric or the teal fabric that you see in the pillows is what I'm gonna be using to cover the stools. And I'll put a link up above um, for the video showing you how I made those pillows. So we actually have quite a few projects to get done with the boat. We only have two months on the boat this year and we'll be going back to Wisconsin in at the beginning of June. So basically I can just move this rattan chair back and I've got my sewing stuff right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and start doing my measurements for the stool and I will show you. So what I'm gonna be doing first is measuring the diameter of this circle. And so just laying it on the seam and then measuring to the other side, I'm gonna find, find the widest point and it's actually 13 and, 13 and a half inches. And I will be adding an inch on to that just because I wanna add for a half an inch seam allowance. And then I'm gonna go ahead and measure the height of the seat. And it's actually four and a quarter. I will go ahead and also measure the outside diameter of this. When I'm looking at this, they actually overlapped right here. It's kind of cheating. <laughs> they didn't do an actual seam there. They wanted to leave it open, make it easy. You don't have to get it anything exact, but I'm gonna go ahead and measure around. We have a measurement of 44 and 3 eighths. And I will also be adding on seam allowances for that. And I'm just going to go ahead and measure it one more time just to be absolutely sure. I'm happy with that measurement. And yep, I'm happy with that measurement. Okay, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is actually I'm gonna be taking this stool apart and I already turned it over, took a look at it and there's screws that hold this pedestal uh, to the underside of this stool. So I'll go ahead and do that.
So I'm going to go ahead and cut um, the side walls of this seat at seven inches, and that'll give me enough to pull um, as I'm trying to stretch it as much as I can. I'm going to remeasure around since I have this off. And see what I have for the length. and a quarter inches on the length. Now when I measure the stool um, from the corner on the diameter on the diameter right here, I actually come out um, at 14 inches. So by the diameter that I did before when I said I'm going to cut my fabric at 14 and a half do a half an inch seam allowance still because you don't want your fabric to be exactly the same size you want this to have a nice rounded look and so by having it a little tight it's going to round out this harsh corner and so that's what i'm going to go ahead and keep the uh, smaller dimensions that i had from before so i'm going to go ahead and measure out um, the fabric for my um, my circles and get those cut out now, just so you know how I went about getting my circle, what I did is I cut a square that's slightly larger uh, than the diameter of my circle. Then I went ahead and I folded that into fourths. And then what you need to do is from the corner where all your folds are, you can see the, the point where all my folds are, is measure from that point all the way around the edge the seven and a quarter inches, which is what I needed for my radius. Just keep doing that all the way around until you have little tick marks. And then you can join them with a pencil or you can just follow with your scissors and cut along those lines and you'll have your circle. Okay, I have it all cut out and I've got my ruler across there and my diameter is 14 and a half inches. So it came out really good. I'm gonna go ahead and cut out my other circle for my other stool. I have two stools to cover. And when it comes to the bottom panel that actually goes on, on, on the underside, that one won't have to be as large, but we'll just see how much fabric I have left. That will kind of be a, a last thing once I get my stools um, assembled. The width of my fabric is about 55, 56 inches, which is about nine inches wider than the length that I need for the sides of my stool. But that's okay, I went ahead and folded it into fourths um, there's my selvage and then the fold lines just over there. I'm going to go ahead and cut um, two seven inch strips and, and then I'll just go ahead and uh, cut them to length once I get ready to, to put this together. So my strip that goes around the side of the stool, when I sewed this onto my circle, when I first started it, you probably noticed, but I did turn over the edge to the underside about a half an inch, a little bit over, probably, it's probably like five eighths of an inch. And then, then this piece just sews right over it and then you have a good overlap. So basically now it's all about um, stapling this onto the stool.
You'll have to excuse the noises from outside. I got all the windows and doors open, which feels really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and stretch this now and get it stapled on the back side. And so what I'm gonna do though, though, I do wanna pull it pretty tight because I wanna round the edges over more. And so by pulling tightly, that'll do that, give it a nice rounded look. And I tend to like to work across from the last place that I worked. So I'm pulling everything evenly. And since this is the seam right here, where he started, I'm gonna go ahead and actually pull on that uh, quarter inch size staples. And yeah, that's going in really well. So, um, and because this is turned under about a half an inch, I wanna make sure that I'm doing that all the way. So you can see it's a nice turned over edge right there. Okay, I'll pull it really tight. So directly across from where I just stapled it over there, I'm going to now do the opposite side and staple here. So I'm gonna kind of work in quadrants and then keep dividing that down. So I will pull this section up and staple that. across from that and I'll just keep working in that fashion and smooth whenever you're pulling fabric for upholstery work like this you want you want to be sure that you leave plenty of fabric when you cut your piece you leave plenty of fabric to um, pull on and then once I get this all stapled, I will trim this back and have a really nice, neat finish to it all. It just gets to the point where all your sections are pretty close together, so I just go ahead and just work my way around now until I get it all pulled very evenly. pretty that makes it when you pull it tight and it gets a nice rounded top to it. Nice tight fit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my scissors I'm going to trim this down closer to the staples. This is the plate that goes on top and this actually will have fabric on it as well and um, give it a nice pretty look. You won't see the wood. It'll be completely covered. So I'll go ahead and get my piece trimmed here and and then I need to cut a piece of fabric for that as well. fabric cut for this plate that covers the bottom of the stool and I have a good three inches overlap and so what I'm going to be doing with this is just exactly the same as I did with the other piece is just working 
you know, uh, straight across from each other, straight across, and dividing it into fourths, eighths, whatever you need to do. And just working evenly. Shouldn't make it more difficult for yourself than necessary. Uh, one thing I'm going to recommend, if you've never worked with a staple gun before, is that you wear a work glove. I don't have any here on the boat. So I'm having to do this by hand, and I am getting blisters. So I'm going to go ahead and put some, I had to have a band-aid here, but I'm going to put some more band-aids on because I'm getting a blister on these two fingers as well. So, um, yeah, make sure you wear a work glove, and I'll go ahead and finish stapling this all the way around. I got the first stool finished. I'll put back together. I'll show you the bottom here. There is the bottom. All the screws are in. Has a very nice, neat finish. Looks good from the top and from the bottom. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on the second one and I'll show you the pair all finished. <laughs> 